Time now for our players talk segment. Okay. Um, <laughs> players talk. They don't usually uh, say a whole lot, but sometimes mm. they do. And this segment Not a lot brought to, to you by the Tailgate Grilling Academy, created by Ace Hardware and the Colorado Beef Council. We'll get to this week's recipe from the Tailgate Grilling Academy with uh, Chef Jason in just a minute. But first, we have another Jason here. Uh, Nowhere near as important as Chef Jason, no. who brings in food. <laughs> this guy just brings in our player tweets, Jason Luber. And, and germs, as I'm still fighting. Oh, uh, are you fantastic. sick? Here's, Thanks for sure. Here's, 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 here's a pro tip. Thanks for letting me know after <laughs> you get like right up in my grill. Never get, never get a flu shot after you already have a cold. Oh, really? Pro that, tip. Oh, okay. That's, okay. that's your pro Thanks tip of that. the day. Yeah. All right, so let's go. All right, so on a, You're no regular, chef, but you are I, a doctor. I, I, <laughs> after a win, there's a lot of tweets. Yeah. Right. After a loss, there's fewer tweets. After the loss like that, <laughs> did you find any? <laughs> nearly non-existent <laughs> tweets. So we'll start with Vaughn Miller. Law, tough loss today, ready to get back to the lab and grind. That's the beauty of the NFL. Now, DeMarcus Ware, he didn't play, but mm -hmm. he's still out there tweeting. Sometimes you lose a battle, but you have to line up, learn, and come back stronger. Ronnie uh, Hillman. He's been getting a lot of hammering from fans about, especially his fantasy right. numbers, right? I'm going to clear this <laughs> up. Ronnie. I'm not bashing fans. You have the right to be frustrated. I'm frustrated. But your fantasy team is irrelevant to me. Huh. And, but but it shows his frustration. As frustra a player, you, you can't worry about a fantasy No, stats. he can't. But no. he's also worried about his team. He can't. Yeah. He's not you know, being as productive. And I was looking at TJ War's Twitter, uh, Twitter account. Mm -hmm. Usually there's a lot of tweets by TJ. None. He had a couple retweets, but he had no original yeah. uh, content that he uh, sent out. Under the radar. The yep. Now, some of the uh, Bronco alumni, like Rod Smith, we mm. win as a team, we lose as a team. The only way to fix it is as a team. Well, Terrell that Davis. Means nothing, really. My mm. Broncos. Bro, team, go team, get team. Okay, we'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> Broncos <laughs> dropped another one on Sunday. I think you sit Peyton and get him right for the Patriots. That's There's been smart. a lot of talk about that as well. That, as makes that could total be sense. Really, uh, before the loss yesterday, that was supposed to be the Super Bowl game, really, with the Patriots. And Ed McCaffrey had a couple here. Mm -hmm. he, he said he's been on both sides of the game like this, very difficult. There'll be plenty of soul searching. And then he said, this is where many team leaders are going to need to step up. Keep the locker room tight and move forward. They have talent, no doubt. Did he Mark recommend Sch good feet yeah. for Peyton Manning? Because that would be the uh, that might help. That would be the logical tweet. And, you know. and Mark Schler, the hundred dollar bonus. Old stink has it. Uh, one word. Ouch. Oh, yeah. Schler. Well, Schler has been ripping the uh, Broncos O line on yes. Twitter like yeah, crazy. He was, yes, he, he yeah. said they're awful. Yep. They stink. Stink from stink. Yes, yeah. which is Most pretty definitely. good. So. Uh, any. <laughs> Any players tweet, uh, fire Kubiak now, or Peyton needs to retire at halftime, like fans were tweeting? No, not the players wow. did I not mean, do it. I mean, social that media was, was brutal. Yes. You said it was a bloodbath last night, nice. and it was. I mean, yes. it was no, the players said, no. wouldn't do that because no, of course, that's their boss. But yeah. no, 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 no. They, they, they were only being complimentary about Peyton. All right, Jason. Well, thank you very much again. This yep. segment brought to you by the Tailgate Grilling Academy here he with Ace Hardware. Here comes Chef Jason with here this week's uh, recipe. Oh, fantastic. Oh, Jason, how are you? At? Happy Monday. Good, good to see you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you. Hey, they're 7 and 2. It's still, uh, still out there. It's a happy Monday. They were 2 and 7. There would not be a happy Monday. We but um, be here. Wow, I'm happy to see this. So what do we got? A fun little Asian beef kebab. Here, mm. hold it like this. Don't tip right, it. Oh, sorry. Jason, you know how to do this. You're a professional, a there TV pro. So a little Asian beef kebab. Cool thing. Um, you can go Asian. You can go Italian on it. You can go Mexican on it. Mm -hmm. You can change it from a kebab. We did it over slaw with some ro uh, roasted pineapple. You can put it in a bowl, do a nice Asian beef bowl okay. uh, as well. So quick and painless. It looks involved. Is, is it easy Super to easy. put together? Yeah. Walk the hardest part is not stabbing your hand with the skewer. That's important. That's exactly what I would do. Like, All first thing out of the box, uh, stabbings. We took, some, we took some... And there would be some blood sauce on it. A little it. bit. Blood little sausage. Bit. Sausage, yeah. Oh, never. We took uh, top sirloin steak, uh, made little cubes, okay. skewered it, and then we smoked them on our Traeger wood pellet grill. Uh -huh. Done. Dude, what Season. I love about you coming on with these recipes is they're all different, and they all look complicated. But there is. And, and they're not. I mean... No, that's great. We're used to, like, burgers and hot dogs, you know, from the supermarket. We're this high, stuff... We're high class. Though. I know, man. That's what I'm saying. High and it's easy. And yeah. it's easy, yeah. Absolutely. And it's good, too. All right, Jason, you're going to leave right. that for us? We'll leave it for you. Awesome. Keep, yeah, awesome. Don't, don't put your, your hands near this mouth right here. No. Put it over there. It's like a hungry <laughs> lion. I got it. Yeah, you got a tour of our grill trailer today. Their trailer is ridiculous. I know. I saw it outside the parking lot, man. You just dropped That thing is awesome. Go. Dropping it? Now, Ace Hardware, every time I go to Ace to pick up stuff, huh. uh, there's always grilling outside. Yeah, Is that yeah. part of it? Yeah. Always. Yeah, so, I mean, there's a, there's a guy out there <laughs> grilling outside Ace Hardware. You, you can buy, you know, burgers, yeah. dogs, whatever you want, yeah. right, outside the, right outside the store. Yeah, they do it to show off the grills. They do it yeah. to show off, 
uh, our rubs, we do that as well. We send our, our team out to do grilling, and it's just mm -hmm. it's a fun way to interact and, and right. answer consumers' questions about beef or chicken or pork, whatever we're cooking, uh, as then as well grills. So it's always a fun time. I said, I'm going, my wife says, where are you going? I said, I'm going to pick up a couple things at Ace Hardware and have some lunch. Yeah, yeah. have some lunch. Have lunch. Yeah. Yeah. You need a screw or something? Or a nail? No. And lunch. All right. Thank you, guys. Jason, thanks Appreciate a lot, it. man. All right. Thank you. Nice to see you soon. Thanks for